Right, you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at how we can securely erase our hard drive. Now, there's loads of different types of software you can use to do this. Now, we're going to be using Kill Disk for this one. Now, um, if you are giving your PC away or you're selling your old PC, you want to make sure that you wipe that drive thoroughly so they can't recover any data on that drive. Now, if you've got sensitive data on there, like photographs, um, business documents or documents, um, emails, uh, browsing history, any of that stuff can be pulled back and uh, recovered and then looked at at their own leisure. So I would make sure that you wipe the drive thoroughly before you do that. Now, obviously, using the Windows format does not do a very good job at formatting a drive, and this will allow them to recover data on that drive very easily. So bear that in mind. Now, if you're asked in my personal preference the way I would do it, I would remove the drive and sell the computer without a drive or you can buy a cheap drive nowadays and stick that in and then tack that onto the price of the computer and tell them it's a brand new drive in there. And that way you can keep the drive yourself and then drill holes in it or smash it with a hammer or whatever it is you want to do. That is probably the safest way of doing it, okay? But if you want to use the software method, I'll show you how to do it with Kill Disk. So let's get started. So first off, we need to uh, open up our boot disk creator. Um, and we're going to do that right now. So here we have our boot disk creator and what this is going to do is allow us to boot up into uh, this environment and uh, wipe the drive from there. So what we're going to do is either pick a USB flash drive, if that if you've got one of those handy, great. I'm going to be doing the ISO method here because obviously I'm in a virtual machine and I'm going to boot to that ISO method. But if you've got a USB flash drive, pop that into the uh, USB port and then just push next and it will copy all the files across. So I'll just do the uh, ISO method here. Now this is the option where you can boot into Windows. This will give you like a Windows PE uh, version uh, which will allow you to boot into like a live environment which is a, a Windows type environment with this program in there. Also you've got the boot into DOS. This is a, like a DOS um, type program. Very old uh, DOS but still very useful. And you've also got the dual boot Windows and DOS. What that means is keep Windows on and it will put a little area with this uh, DOS area on there so you can boot to that and then wipe the drive. Uh, I'm going to use the boot into Windows method. And then as you can see here, it gives you all your options. You can see WinPE. It's going to create the WinPE version here, 3.1. And then you can choose all your other bits and pieces from what the program is, but I've already set that up. So we're going to leave this as is and then push create, choose a location. As you can see, I've already got one on my desktop and then you just click save. Okay, mine's already there, so I'm not going to bother that part. So now we've got our USB flash drive created or our USB or our ISO, whatever it is you've created. Let's boot up to that device. So I'm going to restart the system. Make sure you've got your USB flash drive plugged in. So we're going to load up into a live environment here. So you can see it's loading up here. Now don't worry about this uh, feature here. This is just the boot screen for the WinPE. Okay, we're going to click OK here. Okay, so we're at the actual program here now. So what we can do is click on settings. And you can see your settings here. You can change this to whatever you want for your setup. Uh, you can see here, read, write, retry attempts. We'll put two there. You can change the theme uh, here as well. This is on dark, but you can change it to light, which is more like a white area. I prefer the uh, lighter area color, uh, but it's on dark at the moment. I'm going to ignore the disk write errors and bad sectors. I'm going to ignore those, but um, you can leave that unticked if you wish. And you can send an email of notification to yourself um, if you want to uh, when this has been completed. But we're just going to leave that as is now. I'm going to apply that. Now, the simple process is to come to here and put the ticks in to the drives that you want to wipe. And you can see we're going to wipe the whole drive here. And we're on a VM here. Now, once you've done that, you want to click on the kill 
icon here and uh, as you can see it's now listed our drive now this is where you can use your erase method now remember that the more wipes that you do to that drive the longer it will take okay and it can take days if you're going to be starting to do uh, a lo like 35 passes like gutterman and stuff like that so you want to steer clear of those uh, really that is a serious amount of wipes to the drive and it will take forever um, but I mean something like a US DOD this is the US military uh, version and it's free passes to verify so that's the version we're going to do and so you've got the US Army as well and that's free passes and if they're using it it's going to be pretty secure so that's what I would uh, roughly do I mean seven passes here you've got the German seven pass so we'll just do the three uh, passes here so what I'm going to do is going to do one pass with zeros but you should do I would say this one here so I'm just going to do the one pass here and uh, what we're going to do is click on start and it's going to erase all the data and you have to type this out okay just like so so you're going to have to type in here with like as it is this is just to make sure that you don't um, make a mistake and just bear in mind that all your data will be wiped and it will be unrecoverable so we're going to click OK here and then the process will start and what will happen is it will take time to finish this off now we are only doing one pass here with zeros but if you're going to do a lot of passes as I said it will take a fair bit of time so I'm going to leave this running and hopefully if it doesn't take too long we'll be able to see the end results so that's now been completed as you can see we've got a, a certificate of 100% guarantee uh, by active killed this now if you are a company it's uh, reassuring to know that that drive has now been safely wiped and uh, you can see here it's at the one pass method uh, you would obviously be doing much more than this and that just gives them peace of mind uh, that the drive has been safely wiped and how long it took and it's also very uh, reassuring for that customer to know that all their data will be securely gone on that drive anyway so i'm going to close this off here and uh, I'm going to close this off as well and you can see that's now being wiped unallocated space 60 gigabytes now bearing in mind uh, you've just got to look at the hexes here all that information has gone now if this had information on the drive there would be all characters here okay maybe I should have showed you that um, before I wiped the drive uh, but basically you can see it's all been zeroed off and the drive is now being cleaned and it's all completely uh, data is all gone now as I said if there was data on this drive there would be all information so that said that's all done and uh, you should now be able to uh, sell that computer with safety uh, knowing that they will not be able to recover your data so I'm going to wrap this one up I hope this one helps you out guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos and also if you've got any problems with your computers or anything like that you can join the forums it's free to join and uh, post over there maybe you've got a video review that you'd like me to do or some software you want me to do a review on then head over to there and post up over there okay if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then just join up over there. It's easy to do. You just hit the like button 